this wall and we're going to create a working drawing of as well so there's your main elevation and a plan view from the top and there's a 3d isometric view so in able to draw this wall we first have to draw um, a bottom plate top plate and a stud so we'll go through that as well so i'll click on on shape uh, create a document and we'll call this the bottom plate 1.2 so So the bottom plate, um, it's got two functions. It's obviously create putting the wall together, but it also connects the wall to the concrete slab. So we're going to start by um, using our front plane and we'll click on the front, click on sketch, choose your rectangle tool. And a two by four is uh, 89 by 39. So 89 um, for the bottom measurement, enter, uh, 39 enter so now we've got our um, profile drawn now we have to extrude this so I want the wall to be six meters but with the spacing I'm gonna make it six meters and 39 mils so it would be um, so the total of my extrude here will be 6039 and then enter that so here's my bottom plate done so I've done bottom plate 1.2 and now um, you have to think when we're going to do one of the stats we're going to have to think of how we're going to do it so I'll do it on the top plane and extrude it up so what we'll do first is we'll go on shape create document create a public document and we'll call this stat 1.2 uh, so then we'll create a public document and We'll just wait for it to open now i have to make sure i order it right so i want to do this on my top plane and if i just uh, have a look at the orientation i want to do it on the top plane but i want to sketch it in this quarter here on the bottom so i'll go sketch uh sketch plane choose the top plane choose my rectangle tool and i'll put it down there and then i'm going to make that 89 enter 39 enter that's a normal measurement for a 2 by 4 and then I have to extrude this but I want to extrude it um, the total height of the wall will be 2450 but I'm going to subtract uh, 239 bits for the top and the bottom plate so that my wall height will be 2450 so my measurement will be 2372 so I'm going to go for the um, extrude this and then it type in there uh, 2372 2372 and enter and that's going to be my total measurement for my stat so i've done the bottom plate and the stat so from this drawing i can start creating my um, assembly so what i'll do is i'll you on the bottom you just click on assembly click on assembly and then i'm going to insert but i'm Currently, I'm in this document with my stat. I want to go to other documents and I want to find the bottom plate. So it's that one. So I'll click on this one and then I'll just put it in there. What I like to do is to mate it with my origin, which is that point. So I'm going to go to fasten mate, click on the origin and then click on that corner there. And then fasten that mate now my wall plate is fastened to the origin here if you see on the bottom then I'm happy with that so I want to insert another component so I'm gonna go to current document and that will be my stat that I want to put in and I want to mate this but see the orientation of the stat is not right to the bottom plate so if I go to my mating tool and I click there and I click on the top there before I made it see there's a uh, rotate um, reorientate secondary axis so I can change that to the right um, way that I want it to be so that's where I want it to be so I rotated that now I've got one stat in my bottom plate now instead of inserting the stat 16 times here you can go to your um, linear pattern tool <coughs> then you can just go the instances will be my my stat 
the direction will be that bottom plate and then I want the equal spacing of 400 the 400 works good because most of your um, um, chipboard and plywood and stuff goes comes in 1.2 meters by 2.4 meters so 400 is a good distance for that as well you can see that it wants to um, pattern it to the wrong side so you just go to opposite direction there and there's my 16 stats already put in all i need to do now is to put the top plate on so i'm gonna go insert and then i'm gonna go other documents and i'll use the bottom plate again because it's the same this length and i'll just make these two together as well because let's see at the moment it's it can be moved it's not joined to anything so if i click here and i click on the top left corner there and the bottom there i can just uh, there i've like that mate and it is in place where i want it to be you can just inspect it uh oh i went on the wrong one so see um i don't like that so we'll do just click on the fasten mate click on this side and click on this side now i've done it right i was inspected i like where it is click on that now i've got a wall um done and now we can go and create our working drawing but that will be in the next video